Greg Rizarian, so long since I've seen you. How you doing? I'm good now. How are you, Carlos? I miss you. <laughs> you're your family to us, so we miss you. And congrats on all the great stuff with you. We're so happy for you. Oh, thank you. We're having a good time here at Beyond TV. Okay. And, and welcome to Carlos and Lisa. And for many years, for those of you who don't know, Lawrence and Gregory were part of our lives on KTLA Morning News. And we had a great time always doing segments of some sort talking about, you know, Lawrence's fashion, your acting, you know, all of the modeling things that you guys did. You're an amazing pair, and and you have parlayed that into quite an acting career. I mean, I looked at the resume, and I was like, wow, Greg, he's been in all kinds of things. And uh, thank you. And just when you bring up Lawrence, Lawrence, I'm Carlos's favorite, and um, he, he can't if he shakes his head this way. There's a problem. Carlos, I'm your favorite. You've said it to Lawrence, so it's a win-win. For I've us. said it many times on the air. I, yeah, I've confessed that you're my favorite uh, of the two brothers. But I uh, love Lawrence and love everything that he represents and what he does, and he's terrific. And, and uh, you're both family, so you know it's all in good. It's all in good fun. Before we get started about all of the things that are going yeah. on in the world, uh, uh, you know, with with your with your career, I want to know how you're doing personally, how you're feeling, how you're handling this whole pandemic. You know, Carlos, I'm I'm actually okay. I, uh, I'm, I'm not hating, I'm not hating the, the reset, the pause, you know, in, in my work, I'm always running from, from a job and I'm getting on a plane and doing this. And I'm super grateful to my teams that keep me super busy. However, I, uh, I'm okay with the pause and the reset. I, uh, I'm finding that I'm doing things a lot differently. I'm, I'm asking more questions. You know, I, you, you knew, you knew our parents and, yeah. Both of our parents passing. I was talking to my aunt last night Lovely. and we spoke for a really long time. And I was asking her questions to what it was like growing up with my dad. Uh, tell me about your upbringing, bringing in Armenia. Tell me everything. And I'm finding that I'm doing that more. We have our older brother, Vincent, and he was sick a couple of years ago. And I asked him questions that I've never asked him. So I'm finding that my relationships are getting richer. Um, we're Zooming more, we're FaceTiming more, there's more picking up the phone and people are answering. I'm finding that um, I'm saying hi, not that I don't say hi, but when I run through the hills, I'm waving at cars, I'm asking people, hey, how are you? Socially distancing, of course. And just, I'm finding there's more of a, a curiosity and I'm loving everything about that. I'm, And I'm also spending more time in finding out who, who I am. And there's nothing wrong with us diving in to see who we are and what we're about because at the end of the day we just want to be kind so I, i'm actually really really okay what about you are you are you good no i'm going through the same thing i mean uh clearly the pushing pause on your life is tough and you know it's it's a, it's a reflective time uh first of all you realize how important good health is oh, right carlo <laughs> Absolutely. That has changed. That has changed, I think, in a lot of people's mindset. We take a lot of that stuff for granted. And, you know, I have friends who are doctors who are deeply involved in curing people and helping people and, and watching them go to work and knowing that they could they could themselves get infected and, and, and die. I mean, that's that takes courage. That takes guts. And that's, that's something really, really uh, uh, impactful in life. You know, and one thing I want to add in that within, you know, it's also sh allowing me and us to show more gratitude. But one thing you said about the health is, you know, ask your parents, your grandparents about family history. You know, a lot of the stuff we're hearing is about pre-existing conditions. And a lot of people have conditions they didn't even really know about. So talk to your family and your loved ones about, hey, do I need to look out for this? <clears throat> Excuse me, do I need to look out for that? Because the more information you give your doctor, the more they have to go on. So it's a beautiful time to just ask a lot of questions. That is a good time. I have a pre-existing condition of being Latino, so that's my pre-existing. Are you? Me too. Mine's Armenian and German. Yay us. <laughs> All right, so let's talk a little bit about uh, you know, Venice, the series. Uh, I, I want to talk about that because you have been pre-nominated, so they whittle it down to 10, uh, and, and, and the scene that you were nominated, uh, pre-nominated for is unbelievable. I, you know, you're, you're a good actor, but this scene really hits, hits a nail on the head. Let's watch a quick clip of it. You, you gave me a shot when nobody else would. I, I didn't have any experience. I didn't have any skill. I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing. No, you're not helping yourself. You were treated mercilessly by kids for something you had nothing to do with. You didn't deserve that. That doesn't mean it's gonna happen now. <laughs>
And you know that how? Gregory, that was mind blowing. I mean, you were in control of that scene. You commanded the, all the attention. Powerful, great dialogue, by the way. Yeah. You know, Carlos, um, I believe every actor is just as good as their scene partner. And I got to do that with uh, Orla Cassidy, who it's a great game of tennis. Uh, it's Venice the series uh, created 11 years ago by multi Emmy winner Krista Chappelle. And it's the series is a love story. It's truly six seasons of a love story. And when they brought me in season five, I play the twin brother to the character I played in season five. A um, what, a, what a scene. How fun is that? Uh, my, my character's bullied. And my boss, Orla, her character, her character's bullied. And so Lawrence and I were bullied as kids. Uh, we're bullied for being identical twins. We were bullied for being different. And so many people are bullied for just being different. So what I love is I got to bring my personal experiences, lay it out there on camera, and really take the conversation of bullying into a broader conversation. Uh, what I'm so grateful for with the downtime and all of this is I'm now able to talk to organizations, the Trevor Project, StopBullying.gov, um, friends of mine have free to love because call us another pandemic is cyberbullying. Mm -hmm. You know, we kids are online all the time and it, it is on such a, a, a rise because nobody else has anywhere to go. Either you go outside or on your computer or your laptop or your iPad. So I am, um, I get to talk to kids. I get to talk to organizations. I get to say to them, if somebody's bullying you, close the laptop, talk to your mom and dad, talk to your partner, talk to someone else and realize you're not alone because most of the bullying happens just because you're different. And the only thing we want to do is love and be loved. So it, uh, it's allowed me to broaden the conversation and say to people, hold on, just because you see Lawrence and I now doesn't mean that we weren't bullied for being different, for having the bull haircut, for doing things a little bit differently, which could have been celebrated, it was just made fun of. So I'm super grateful that I get to expand this conversation. Well, I, we've known each other for uh, almost 30 years, and, and you think about that time that we've known each other, I've seen a lot of different things that have happened in your life, and, and I'm so very proud of the, the things that you and Lawrence have accomplished, that you and, and Lawrence have really succeeded beyond all of the things that, that were thr thrust in front of you. You had all kinds of reasons to quit and say, you know, I can't deal with this and, and check out. And there are a lot of people who feel that way, Gregory. You know, they do. And here's what I, I'm grateful for my parents. Our parents, which I love that you, you knew, our mom and dad, were super strong and they were all about survival. You know, our father came from Armenia. Our mom, you know, survived World War II. So what's so poignant about the scene in this, and again, it's Venice the series, is even though my boss bullies me, she was bullied. And I, being the one that is bullied, is the one that helps her out. Of course, we have two nephews, Alexander and Christian, and the youngest Christian was in a situation at school before we all got into lockdown. And the person that he had the confrontation with, he stood up to that person, that, that fellow's kid, and they are now the best of friends. Wow. And I truly believe that we all just want to matter. And what's so great about the organizations that I mentioned are you know, the Trevor Project, um, there's a part of it called Trevor Live. Somebody is online 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So when people feel like they are being bullied or yelled at or made fun of or threatened, you can go to Trevor Live and realize you're not alone and you get to reach out to somebody because here it is. At the end of the day, we just want to matter. And our indifferences, those are the things that make us special. I don't believe it's about at the end of the day, it's not about culture, race, sexuality. It's just about loving back and receiving love. So with this global reset, let's embrace that, nothing else. Well, that's terrific. And Gregory, it's been so wonderful catching up with you. It's been a long, long time. Uh, next time we visit, let's visit in the studio. And uh, maybe we'll invite Lawrence to come with you. But can he sit on the end? <laughs> Okay, we'll make a little space for them. All right, where can people catch you uh, on social media and where can we see your, your work and what's coming up next for you real quick? Uh, thank you. Uh, GregoryZarian.com, every uh, Twitter, Instagram, at GregoryZarian. 
in regards to what's coming up. I was just on, we just, um, season three of Westworld just ended uh, Sunday. So oh, cool. go to HBO and watch that. It's a great season. They were just picked up for season four. And then I come out on the, in the new uh, psychological thriller, um, 86 Melrose Avenue. It's a great hostage film by uh, a beautiful director and creator, Lily Amato. So I'm grateful to be part of all of that. Well, Gregory, it's great to see you. Love you, buddy. Thanks so much for taking time to be with us. I hope to see you soon. Be well and be safe. I love you, Carlos. See you soon. Thank you.